Hey everyone, Rick here. I just finished the first of my foreground fabled realms buildings. This one just happens to be Backstreet Hovel number three. And I was so excited I couldn't wait. Had to put it together. Also put together a little piece of furniture, which I'll show you in a second. But I I need to show it off. So this I'm also really proud of myself because like I said in a previous video I am not a modeler by any sense of the imagination yet I was able to put together this building and thought it might be fun to take a video of it okay so just getting up close let's see how well that'll focus from this angle, could you imagine that this wasn't a painted plastic kit? Because it is not. It is all wooden components. Laser cut, pre-painted. That's the other thing I want to stress. So the wood framing is painted brown. You can see right through the cracks in the door. Isn't that just so cool? Windows, there's different options for windows also. For example, I went with a boarded up version here. And the door opens, that's right. Opens and closes really nicely. Okay, well, the only thing that kind of gives it away that it's one of those HDF or MDF fiberboard laser cut wood kits is these little pegs here in the roof. You could paint over those, I suppose, if you wanted to, though. And so all this, it all comes out in these sprues. Let's see, where's... So the wood framing will come on a brown sprue like this, and then you'll take the plaster, individual plaster pieces, and pop them in there. I'm doing this all out of order, I'm sorry, I should show you how that works first, but I'm just so excited about it. And the brickwork on the chimney there. Yeah, are you kidding me? Anyways, the cool, one of the coolest parts of the whole thing. Inside the building itself, pre-painted floor. Then you can see the cracks in the plaster walls. And the laser gives it depth. What, it, what it, you might have to normally have used a wash for. Again, that door opens up so nice, and then it just closes like that. So, yeah. So there's an interior four walls that are attached to the floor, and then you put the wood framing up against that, and then you pop in the plaster pieces where they go. Windows are all separate also. Really neat how they did the door so that it'll swing open. The roof itself, the framing kind of gives it a sloped angle, which is neat. I just think that looks so nice. And to think this is supposed to be one of the back street buildings, ovals. But it just looks so nice. Can't wait to get the other ones built. I am definitely addicted. First, before I did anything, I put together this little table. So let me see. Here's. So it just came in like this. Came in a frame like that. And this uh, piece of paper folds out for the instructions. And the table construction's kind of neat. It has an underside 
framing that you glue to the bottom of the table and then the legs all glue into that. Again, because of the laser work, I don't know if you can see it, but there's kind of the white edge around and then little darker spots in the corners kind of give it a little decoration on the table. Scale for this. They do 15 millimeter and 28 millimeter. This is the 28 millimeter stuff there, so that's a Warhammer fantasy figure for comparison. This guy's wondering why you're in front of his little house. But yeah, so you can have that. Put the little table in there. Put him in there. And then he's ready to eat lunch or whatever. So I put the table together first just to see kind of how the glue sticks to it what I can expect in terms of drying time but really it wasn't it didn't really tell me much until I started building the actual building itself started with one of these small ones I got a whole bunch more seven more and a whole ton more furniture and I just used the foreground PVA glue got a couple bottles of that from them also this stuff works like a charm there were a couple times because it can get kinda messy um, where I would have stuff on my fingers and I'd touch like an outer plaster part and get like a dark fingerprint there. And what worked so well for me was just taking a paintbrush, put it in a little bit of water and you could, it really just wiped it right off. And so to construct it I had a little thing where I would put some glue in there, put some water in there, I'd have one brush for any errors or excess glue I would wipe away and then I took the other one and actually applied the glue with a paintbrush just to make sure I didn't get too carried away and then also as recommended in the instructions rubber bands that's mainly for the wall construction to keep it all real nice and tight as it dries here's the instructions for this building you can see how Put a focus. The walls go around the floor, then the framing has its own base that you then put around those walls. And then the door construction, then you start popping in those little out, outer plaster pieces, then the roof, the chimney. There's a couple other buildings in the high street range. Yep, it all just comes packed and packed just like this in a nice Ziploc bag you can reuse later. This is one of the bigger buildings from the High Street series. This will have a ground floor and a second floor, whereas this one just has the ground floor. Like I said, I'm officially addicted to this take it from someone who doesn't model terrain that this was a lot of fun. I haven't put together a kit like this since I was like eight. I went to Hobby Lobby and picked up like a race car or something and put it together. So for someone completely new to any kind of kit modeling, this was simple, straightforward, fun, and then look at what you get in the end. Wow, I can't wait to put that on my table with the rest of them. Great for RPGs and can't see any reason why I wouldn't play Warhammer Fantasy with something like this and also like I said my Free Blades figures that are on their way. So a big thumbs up to Foreground from me. Can't wait to see what they come out with next. So guys please give them a look and um, nothing else to say. I gotta get working on the next one. Talk to you later.